we'll have to see what's in the draft. I was always skeptical about a fixed price cap, let's say 100 euro, 120 euro the megawatt hour, because either it's too high or it's too low. Okay. If it's too low, we won't get any gas, no LNG would come to Europe, then we would suffer and this would indirectly lead to, um, to a lack of support for Ukraine people if they can't afford to pay the gas bill anymore or if the houses are getting cold then the solidarity will come to an end I guess so this is dangerous of course it, but the other thing is if it's too high why should one sell for 100 euros if you say 120 yeah. so this was uh, this is not a market model what we now decided on on a, on a political level is that if the stock market explodes if there's an under regularity then we have a, a price cap and this is what I agree on so if there's if there's a rumor, if there's a speculation bubble, then we can intervene in the market. And this is exactly, this was the problem in August, that the market was not functioning anymore. And therefore we had these skyrocketing prices. Now, just by announcing it, and because our storages are full of gas, and the winter is quite warm in the, in the beginning of the winter, we have a collapse of the gas price, a real collapse. We so I, I would argue that the market is functioning, in August, there was no functioning market. In this situation, we need a, a political instrument that could, could be a price cap. But in general terms, we have to broaden up the supply and building up a new infrastructure. And then we will see prices going down to the price of the world How market. How ready are you with setting up that new infrastructure? Because this winter is sorted, sir. No. The question is the next winter and Well, beyond. the German situation is really complicated. This winter is not sorted. It's, it seems to be better than expected yeah. but you know half of the but you're satisfied uh, with the storage levels and the supply the storage the storage capacity in germany stands for three months in an average winter and they are full to the top yeah. and we started with empty storages so this is quite a political achievement we made a law and we we pushed gas from out and we invested also public money in that so this was this was not happening by coincidence this was done by political action so this is this is a success story i would say of course, high prices are, are bad, but... But you've dealt with the problem. We, we have enough gas for the winter, and we are, the, the situation was uh, more than half of the gas was coming via North Stream 1, via Russia. And now this pipeline collapsed, so half of the gas is, le is, is lacking. We have now the full storages over the winter, and we are building two LNG, actually two and a half LNG ports. The other one is a... Is a ship-based system so it's not an infrastructure in eight months time so this has never been done before in Germany and in next year we are doing that with four additional ones so in one and a half years we have we have more or less replaced Nord Stream 1 by I would say four fifths maybe two thirds so this is this will solve the situation and I'm quite satisfied with the ongoing planning and, and construction process I mean Germany is sometimes slowly yeah. but not in this case now we are really doing a good work